Hey guys, so I'm in Amarillo right now. I'm at the Loves. You can see the Loves right there off of exit 74. Uh, I stopped here well, early this morning. Uh, it was about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning but when I got here, so just how it works. So it's 20 to 2 right now, headed over to Tyson up here in Amarillo. Uh, pick up my load and go home for a few days. <clears throat> um, so first I gotta do my pre-trip real quick and um, and then go get some fuel and then head up and head home. I'm about seven hours from home. So I live in Colorado Springs, <clears throat> so it's only about seven hours from here. So I'm gonna get started. Should have rear-ended him, but then I don't want to end my career, you know, kill somebody. Bad news bears all over. There. And he works here. I'm not giving Tyson a bad name, but that guy was a fucking jackass. 
stupid jackass. All right, I'm done ranting. I'm actually glad that I had the uh, video recorder on. That happens to me a lot, but we never see it. So I'm basically on the back side of the plant. You'll see it here now. smells too. And again, what uh, chicken and cow packaging plant smells nice? I don't know. If you find one, let me know. Alright, so you pull up here and uh, they check the inside of your trailer, make sure there's nothing in it, you know, no pallets or massive amounts of pallet junk or anything and then you give them a pickup number and uh, it's a drop and hook so I just drop my empty actually I got to take my empty to a wash bay they wash it out and then uh, and then I go pick up my loaded trailer and I'm out the door To slide your tandems all the way to the rear. So step one, make sure that the uh, trailer brake is out. I'm gonna show it out. So all right. Now all of our trailers have the pull button right here. So just pull on that. There you go. There's the other pin right there, and there's a pin right there. So they're slid now, or they're unlatched. So I'll just pull the truck forward and uh, slide them all the way to the back. All right, so I'm just waiting for uh, another driver to get out of there so I can get in. So here's the inside of the trailer. Up there, that's the reefer bulkhead. All right, and there's the chute. And the chute comes all the way back. Blows air up top here, and then the grooves. As you can see, that keeps cold air flowing underneath the, all the product. Those marks right there are the 48 foot. Basically, if you have a fully loaded trailer, uh, they don't load past that. So if you're real heavy, they can't load past that. And there's half and quarter. And yeah, and then there's rubber seals right here. All the way up. So to slide the tandems, we're pushing the tractor brake. You're gonna see the tandem in the back and just pull forward. All right, it's hard to see, but bam, there we go. And then release. And then you're good to go. Oh, the ducker driver right there. off of the wash bay, I'll back it up to the wash bay. We'll wash it out and then I drop it for them. Normally we don't have to do that at Tyson's, but this one we do, no big deal, only takes about 10 minutes. So.
so that's cut a little sharp so I was hoping to show off a little bit to be honest and do a one shot however I just wind it up now since the trailer tires are all the way to the back turning is a lot more gradual as opposed to sharp uh, if the trail if the tandems were slid more forward but uh, there's zero tail swing. Now, what I mean by tail swing is you've got, say you've got your tandem slid to the 40 foot mark. You've got, you know, close to, I don't know, 10, eight to 10 feet of trailer that's hanging over the edge there. And uh, so you've got to watch out when you're backing up that, that the back of the trailer doesn't hit a truck because it's swinging over from where your tandems are. Hope you get that. But if the tandems are slid all the way to the back, there's no trailer swing. So where your trailer tires are at are basically where the back of your trailer is, so you're less likely to hit something. However, turning and uh, maneuvering takes a lot longer, you know, to uh, turn the trailer and whatnot, as you can imagine. So, hey guys, so. Uh, <laughs> I actually got approached by somebody at uh, at Tyson there, and apparently I wasn't supposed to be videotaping. So yeah, they said just turn it off and put it back in your truck. So that's why there was no more of me pulling out or backing up anymore or anything like that. So yeah, I had to shut the camera off, but uh, I'll still probably show it. You know, if they want to take me to court, then fine. I wasn't doing any harm, I wasn't showing off any trade secrets, I guess, but, uh, yeah, so I'm on, uh, the 287 in Oakley Homey, in the, uh, Panhandle, as you can see right there, just cruising along, headed home, so I deliver tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., I'll be home for a few days.
distribution. Anybody? If anybody lives in Colorado Springs, you may know Garden of the Gods Road. And if you don't, you've ever visited, you may know Garden of the Gods itself. So, I uh, just wanted to point that out. I just, I feel, I always feel funny making delivery in my hometown in a big truck. It just doesn't feel right because I'm so used to driving in a car around here. Morning, chaps. So, I only had six pallets on. Uh, as you can see, by the time I basically went inside, used the restroom, the guys had me unloaded, so there wasn't a whole lot to show. I'm headed home, so by, by the time this is uploaded, I'll be back out on the road. But that's it. Trip completed. So, that's it for now. Guess I'm signing off, and see you next time.